And uh, Dr. Keenan, you call this a bold statement that should be backed by action, but where is the space for due process in law? Because the moment the president said that, then one of the companies that was challenging the leasing of Mumia's sugar to Uganda, based Mela Sarai Group, has filed a notice of court of appeal to withdraw the case. Mm -hmm. Where is the due process? Space for I, I think we are reading too much politics into the statement. I, I don't think I have heard and I've watched that clip. I don't think whether the president said he will send so and so to jail. No, he said should go to jail. This means completely different. Should go to jail means at least some due process expected. He didn't say he will send so and so to jail because that's not the work of the president. It's not the work of the president to send anybody to jail. Sh should go to jail. These are two different statements, and I think we should not amplify. The intention was. Can we replay that clip? <laughs> yes, the intention. We'll replay no, he didn't say you sh we will send to jail. I didn't hear that. Okay, we'll replay the clip. Uh, you can. But the, the bit about this is let's look at the intention. Mm. Are the sugar belt farmers suffering? Yes. Has this area been bedeviled by, by, by cartelism? Yes. Are some of the cartels known? Yes. Was the president in Western Kenya? Yes. To interact with the public? Yes. Did that issue arise from the public interaction? Yes. Was it a spontaneous reaction as a result of the public money? So I think I think you need to look at the circumstances on the issue of uh, 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 the issue of. Uh, there is only one yes, Moshi. Uh, not to interrupt you. There is only one yes you have not confirmed. If the sugar cartels are known, can, have affected the people. Have they been charged? Can I can I finish? Yeah. Can I finish? It's a due process. It's a due process. <laughs> you have heard the other day. Uh, the Minister for Internal Security, the issue of uh, Nyaya House, declare yeah. Nyaya House a crime scene. Yeah. And you know the meaning of a crime scene. A crime scene is a place where an issue must have been investigated, yeah. a decision made that this is an embodiment of crime that has been investigated and determined and somebody ought to be taken to a court of law. Okay. That was a bold statement from the Minister of Internal Security. What remains, we have seen some arrests. Mm -hmm. And it's not a one-day thing. The issue of Nyaya House and migration has been on yep. even before you were born. Mm -hmm. So the fact that a minister in that office yeah. went public and say we have a problem, yeah. you know in problem solving, you must identify that there's a problem. Mm -hmm. You must speak about it. Mm -hmm. You must find a solution. So in problem solving, there's, there, 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 there are steps. Yeah. That is what uh, Professor Kindeke has done and we commend him and we have seen some arrests and we hope uh, the next thing that we expect is to clean the whole area. It's also unfair you know, the fact that the president comes from uh, Eldoret does not mean that he prefects every small thing that happens in, uh, in, in, in Rift Valley. The other day when he was in Eldoret... Why should he no, prefect? No, let's allow I'll, I'll allow me to do this. The other day when he was in Eldoret, and this issue is subjudy, it's yeah. before court. Yeah. I do not want to delve in the merits and demerits of the issue of Madago. Yeah. But he went public and said, like, all those who are involved okay. should carry there. Uh, what else will you have done? And we have seen arrest. Okay. If you expect him to do this issue of, of uh, first choice, or what, I, uh, what are they called? First choice. First choice. First choice. Mm -hmm. I think that's also, it's going through a parliamentary process. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, the Senate is uh, of the Senate. And she so it's all, out for being out. So it's only fair. <coughs> it's only fair. You look at the, the chair. The chair who sent her out is a member of Kenya Kwanzaa uh, uh, parliamentary group. So meaning that itself is a bold step, then, which means that person did not satisfy what the committee expected okay. to get. So it's a due process. Right. Because what is happening in parliament is a different uh, enjoys, you know, the role of parliament. Yeah. I'm sure as a lawyer, you understand, person to Article 125 has read uh, with, uh, Article 95, parliament has its own independent jurisdiction. Okay. So when an issue is before parliament, just yeah. like, like it's parliament court. is a quasi judicial yes. institution, it's just like a court of law. But you don't see any relationship between the withdrawal of a case between Mumia's sugar being leased to Uganda for, to, by Sarai Group. Maybe even, maybe even that, right is, part, that is part of the cartelism. That maybe they know that time now is uh, they're under pressure. But so I don't know because court. So I'm not familiar. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to be due process. <coughs> what I'm saying, I'm not familiar with that particular case. Yeah. I'm only seeing the headline. I, I, I must say I'm disadvantaged. But I think one thing that is a fact. Yeah. This country, take for example, I'll tell you where I come from, once, and where it comes from. One, once upon a time, we used to have a vibrant Kenya Meat Commission. Mm. Vibrant Kenya Meat Commission. And under Kenya Meat Commission, we used to have livestock marketing division. Mm. It's dead. Kenya Meat Commission is just floating. Even the land where the factory is uh, loca uh, situated yeah. is owned by cartels. Okay. Uh, we used to have uh, livestock uh, 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 holding grounds. It's gone. How did it happen? Mm. If somebody starts addressing that particular phenomenon yeah. of uh, cartelism in the livestock subsector, you will realize that many people, including yeah. myself, will clap and say, look, this is what we needed. Okay. But is it a one-day event? 
No. I think let's allow the government. Me for me, yeah. what is gratifying is this. Okay. We are talking about cartelism boldly. Okay. We have identified they were there. And we all knew they were there. This is the first time we are seeing we are seeing this sector is bedeviled by these particular cartels and we are going to deal with them. Okay. We are going to deal with them but, through but policy yeah. formulations. Yes. But Mesh. through the application of the penal uh, mm -hmm. code yeah. or the criminal justice system or through other mechanisms. Okay. And once and for all, it's difficult. We'll reduce this menace of cartelism. We can't eradicate those other mechanisms. No, you know, you know, yes.